Hi everyone, I recently have a question on how could someone format the current date time to just show the month and year. And so we covered that off in a previous video and the subsequent question came back to say, well, what if I wanted to actually show the previous month year from the current month and year? So what is right now? What is the uh, month and year? But just give me the previous month as well. So I'm assuming that they wanted to have two fields showing previous month and year and the current month and year. So uh, I've put on two fields, previous month and year and current month and year, and these are just um, a single line of text or, or text short, sorry. Uh, but what we also might do is put a label on here and we'll call this uh, previous month year. Let's call this one current month year, old, old. And so um, we're just gonna put out these two um, the variables here and then we'll also set rules put these in here as well. So the first thing we need to do is create some variables. So I started playing with this one already. This is one that we were looking at uh, yesterday. So what I'm doing is getting the current month and year. So I've used the format date function. So the format date function, if you're not familiar with it, if you come to format date, now this returns a string. And so that means I can put it into a text short or a label or anything like that. And if you come into here, it tells you how to use it. But basically the format date is expecting a date time value, which is um, the data type of date time. So a data type could be coming from uh, a date time control or it could be another function. So if, if you look at the functions, you'll see um, some functions return date time. So date time, date time, date time. Date diff actually returns a number because it's the amount of days or months or years between two dates. So it's not gonna return a date, it returns a number. So in here, we needed to put a date time uh, piece of data. And then finally, we've given a string of the the formatting for the for the date we want to do. So we're going to use the current date. Uh, if you're not familiar with context uh, variables, context variables live in this tab here, and they're things that don't change. They're things current date, current date and time, current user, email, so on and so forth. So they're all these things, these these um, properties that you can access always. So we're going to go and update that. We've got our first variable ready to go. We'll go to the designer and we'll go to our label and we'll insert this variable into here. So just unbold that one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna press publish and I'm gonna to go to my list and see what it looks like. Okay, so we can see that it comes up as uh, SEP to 2020. Now I might wanna change that slightly and I just might put one more M on there just so it looks, so that's just just me. And if you're not familiar with this syntax, there's um, help on help.nintex.com around the syntax. and. It's very much like the Excel style date formatting. So I'll update that one, publish, and refresh. There we go, September 2020. Now we've got that, we actually want to get the previous month. So how do we go about doing that? Well, uh, we'll go back to variables. I'll copy this variable uh, function out and create a new one. Yes. And previous month. Not oh, year. Let's say previous. Getting a bit pedantic, aren't I? Um, so what's happening here is we're formatting a date. Now this is a string. Now if we wanted to um, change the current date, we'd have to do that first. So so let's just put this down here so we can have a look at it. And we'd say date and to do a date add. So that might make a little bit, uh, make a bit confusing because you're not really adding to the date. You're actually subtracting, but we still use the date add. So if we click on this here, you'll see uh, date add text date unit type. And so that's um, quotation marks, years, days, months, those sort of things. Um, and then the integer date unit. So that's how many of that unit that you're going to take. So in our instance, it's um, quotation marks, Month. So let's let's start typing it here. So we do um, date add. Then we say uh, months, and then we say negative one. So we're reducing, going back one month from the current date, and then finally it's the date time value. So which is context current uh, current date. Okay. So what that's going to give us. So in fact, let's just let's just push that out and see what it comes back as. So we can see that 
it's actually coming back as a um, as a string. So then, if we're testing this, we could just go. Well, I'm just going to say convert to string. Put that in bracket there. Put that in the parentheses. Create. Now I can go to the designer. Come to here, and this is how I would sometimes test things out. I'm sort of having a bit of a play, trying to figure out how things work. I will often put things out to. I uh, just want to unfold that one. Um, into a label just so I can see what's going on before I press publish and see what's happening. So we'll come back to here. Okay, so you can see here, um, so today for me it's September 17th and what it's doing is now actually giving me the date and time uh, from the current date and time, just re reducing it by one month because we've put, put negative one in there. So looks like it's good so far. So we'll go back to our variables, uh, previous month. So we've got this right. So date add months, subtract one. So date add and subtract is a bit weird, but that's fine. And so what's that far? Now what we need to do then is actually format the date like the previous one. So we replace current uh, convert to string with format date, the same as previous one. So now you'll see the same, same sort of function syntax. So we go format date. And what it's expecting is you to pass in a date time value and fortunately date add returns date add you'll see returns a date time so that's already in the right um, structure this this um, this, uh, this this section here is returning a date time so then we can put the comma and then we can copy the same syntax we've got here so four m's four y's there and we're good to go so I keep that parentheses there because it was used from the convert to string so you can see when I when I click on the parentheses it actually shows me where it opens and closes so we can see format date is um, as this command to do so the format date saying okay I'm going to take this date I'm going to give it this syntax so we're all good to go okay so our variables already in the label so then we can go publish and we'll go across to our form and we'll see what happens okay so there we go so Today for me is 17th of September and I've asked it to give me the previous month and year and it's now saying August 2020. So, um, well it's previous month and current year I guess you could say, but let's get technical. So now we've actually got August 2020. Now how do I actually put these into here? Now that's pretty easy. We actually go and do a rule. So you could go uh, add a form rule and you say set, it's basically fields. And I would say, um, I would say something like uh, is empty. This one. Or you could actually do something like or. You could say empty because otherwise one will get filled and the other one won't. But potentially, I haven't really thought this through. So then we're going to say current year and we're going to go to value and insert. We're going to say variables, current year, add previous year and month set its value uh, to the variable previous month create rule so then we come back to here we'll publish this we'll open up this one and hopefully when this opens up it's going to set the fields and it's going to set the label so there we go so that's pretty much it so that's how you can format the date the current date or it could be a date time control input and subtract units of time off it so it could be days, weeks, months, years, whatever you choose through that, um, that formula we looked at, which is um, date add months or date add years, whatever you choose. So I hope you find that helpful. Let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to know anything else, um, certainly get in contact. Cheers.